What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel, welcome to another Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC 2022 Showdown Live. So yesterday I brought the absolute heat with that Palkia uh, room service team. Today we're going to be doing a team builder because I get this comment so many times and I think at this point I just need to prove a point. Uh, basically people always ask, Marcos, or they call me Mox even though I call me Marcos, uh, why don't you ever use hail teams? And there's pretty good reason for that. Hail is just kind of bad uh, and the reason is we're playing a restricted format right now even in like non-restricted formats where there's like decent other forms of weather hail isn't that good it's only really been good in like uh regional decks formats like 2017 and even then it was kind of a stretch uh however you know right now we have things like Groudon running around we have things like Kyogre running around and they're able to set up weather so much more effectively and so much more dominantly while threatening out Sandslash and Alolan Ninetales but <clears throat> I figured today we'd make an honest effort to make a hail team. And that's why we're on my alt account. We're on Sabado Go. We're on Sabado Gigantamax. And I changed my player avatar to look like Clay, because let's be real, he kind of looks like Don Francisco. But yeah, let's let's do it. Let's let's try to make a an actual hail team today. Even though we're gonna be starting from the bottom of the ladder, that's like the only place I think hail can work. Uh, but before we get into that, if you guys enjoy this name point in time, do me a favor, leave a like in the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications because I bring you daily VGC content. And answer my comment question of the day: Would you be interested in me making a clips channel and like a VOD channel? Basically, clips would just be like short form stuff. But yeah, you know, let's go ahead and get into it. So. I think I really want to use Sandslash, um, because there are a few things in the format that Sandslash could hurt. For one, Grimmsnarl definitely wouldn't appreciate a hit, uh, Thunderous does not want to take a triple axle, Groudon doesn't want to take a triple axle, but yeah, it's it's just that the speed tier just isn't quite there, man. It just isn't quite there. Uh, it gets double speed under, uh, under Hail, so we could outspeed Calyrex Shadow with this much speed, and I think we're going to have to run that much speed. I think, like, if we're going to use a Sand Slash, it will literally just be like this, which I really want to try it out, so let's do that. That'll work. Um, I think Sash is probably the best item. We definitely want, like, Triple Axle, uh, Triple Axle, Iron Head. Could run Iron Tail for extra damage, but I don't think that's a good idea. Um, Swords Dance, and probably just Protect. As far as other Pokemon, obviously we need a Hail Setter. Um, I think that's the thing. Like, if we're running Hail, the issue with Hail is like in, in restricted formats is that two of the best Pokemon in the game set up other forms of weather, which will just kind of you know mess with you. Groudon and Kyogre. Uh, so we're gonna have to get creative here. And obviously, what is it? Sand Slash is you know Steel and Ice type, so you know it's it's got a lot of weaknesses. But more importantly than anything. The only thing immune to hail damage are going to be Overcoat Pokemon, Overcoat Pokemon, Magic Guard Pokemon, and um, and what else? What's the last one? And, and just Ice types in general. Like Ice types, and if we give something safety goggles, it'll be fine. So we have to be very careful, otherwise we're just going to be taking residual damage the whole game. So yeah, like that's going to suck. Uh, I think, you know, I, I, most teams have like a pretty decent... Electric type on their on their team. Uh, honestly, like the Arcto line could be very good. Arctozolt, Arctivish. We're probably gonna get a lot more value out of Arctozolt due to the fact um, it has Bolt Beak and that actually hits quite a lot in this format. So I could also go Arctivish. I mean, like Ficious Rend isn't that bad, but I don't know. We'll we'll, we'll get to that in a second. I, I don't know if I really want to run that. Uh, as far as restricteds, I think that's probably the most important thing to take a look at here. We need something that doesn't care that it's going to be taking a hail chip the whole time. Lunala is completely off the table. Like, Lunala hypothetically could carry a hail team a little bit due to the fact it's like pretty much free trick room. But the fact that we lose Shadow Shield at the end of one turn is so bad. And I'm not going to put safety goggles on a Lunala. That's the thing. Like, hail teams just, um, there's so much restrictive team building here. We could go Zacian. Zacian wouldn't be bad, but it does bolster our... Um, obviously, Zacian's not bad. I mean, I could have told you that. Uh, but it does bolster our fire weakness, which would be really bad versus Charizard teams. Man, this is this is kind of rough. Um, Can I get away with, like, a Dawnwings Necrozma? Is that what we're going to have to do? Probably not. Calyrex Ice also isn't, like, a terrible option. Uh, I, I like. Here's the thing. I don't want to go too outside the box, but we're we're already eliminating Kyogre and like other stuff. So, 
I think as far as making sure we don't lose to fire types in general, Palkia isn't a bad option. I have to be careful with my max water moves though, that could mess with us. And it also gives us Trick Room, which these Pokemon do pretty well under. Uh, da -da. As for the second restricted, I mean, if we have a Palkia, we could try Zacian. We could try Zacian, but we could also try something a little bit faster. Palkia does well with a couple of things. I'm going to say for this team, man, I don't know. I really don't know. Maybe we just go with like Palkiaization. Maybe that's not a bad idea. I could also just go Palkia Calyrex Ice. Palkia Calyrex Ice is a pretty decent combo right now, and I've run it in the past. We already have three ice types. Like if we see a Zacian, if a Zacian looks at us, we just lose. So is there a fire type we can run on here? Let me think. Fire types that could carry this team and not have us just straight up lose. A Marowak Alola wouldn't be a bad idea, but I, like, I'm literally building so far outside the box at this point. We're, we're literally just in uncharted territory. We're just in uncharted territory at this point. I could use a Charizard as like a counter sun measure, but even that's not great. You know, I already know I want an Incineroar, and Incineroar gets goggles. Like I already have, I already run goggles Incineroar on like half of my team, so let's do that. I may end up dropping one of these two. Do you get Swords Dance? That'd be great if you did. No, do you get like bulk up? Do you get something cool? Not really. Let's drop Arc Result for now. Sand Slash isn't bad. Uh. Triple Ice type. We have two Steel Resistances. Let me think. And we already have a Water type. Uh, as far as Grass types go, do we have anything that doesn't really mind being in Hail? Ferrothorn, I guess, but like still it kind of messes with our leftovers. Rillaboom wouldn't be a bad option either, simply due to the fact... Um, We'll be able to deal with uh, opposing Kyogres a lot easier. I'm also somewhat tempted to run G-Max Venusaur, strictly because Venusaur would also be very good versus Sun, which is like one of our biggest weaknesses. Yeah, I mean, like if we're, if we're gonna run Venusaur, like this is probably be, this would probably be the team for it. Yeah, and I mean, Florophil, let's go with. Uh, I already have the Sash on you, so we're gonna go with uh, Life Orb. Do I want to run Room Service Palkia on this team? Probably not. I think Room Service Palkia is already like thinking a little bit too far outside the box to be comfortable with. <sighs> Maybe I don't. Because we also need like an actual Hail Setter. And I think, you know, while Alolan Ninetales... While Alolan Ninetales isn't that bad, it's got 109 base speed and it can deal some decent damage. Um, What other Snow Warning Pokemon are there? It's like Vanillux and... Obama Snow. Ooh, Obama Snow might not be a bad idea, but it's going to be much harder to like get our veil off. That's the issue. I think Obama Snow, or Obama Snow might actually be our best option, which is really disappointing. <laughs> That's straight up just disappointing at that point. Um, it doesn't underspeed Calyrex, so under Trick Room we can't like... I guess under Trick Room we could do that. Do I want to go with Lola Ninetales? Because I could, I could do like Light Clay, right? But then I'm going to be slower than Zacian is the issue. Uh... And it almost feels like there's no reason to run Hail if you're not going to run, like, Aurora Veil. That's, that's the thing I'm struggling with here. Let's go Obama Snow. Let's go Obama Snow. I mean, we can give him, like, Clay. Aurora Veil. Um, probably want him to be a special attacker. He's got equal special attack and physical attack. So, yeah. Let's go with a Quiet Nature... Quiet Nature, where are you? Quiet Nature, zero speed. Does he get Sleep Powder? I feel like he doesn't. He doesn't, no. All right, so let's go Giga Drain, Blizzard, Freeze Stride. He doesn't get Freeze Stride. This Pokemon is garbage, dude. <laughs> Why are you so garbage? Okay. Could also run Woodhammer. Do I want a physical set? I mean, we already have Sand Slash here. All right, let's go Giga Drain, Blizzard, Protect, and Aurora Veil. That'll probably be fine. 
And I almost don't even want to calc for anything here. He already like just kind of does fine. Kind of wish you could self proc weakness policy with Calyrex. But yeah, Cali, we're just going to go with standard stuff. 252, 252, you know, it's it's not, if it isn't broken, don't fix it. Brave nature here. Want a weakness policy. We're going to go with, uh, what's it called? Uh, protect, trick room, high horsepower, glacial lance. As for the Palkia, I'm going to steal a Palkia. Here's a decent Palkia spread. It doesn't have Trick Room on it. I'll just toss Trick Room on it. Let's get rid of Protect here. Have Protect on you. Don't Protect on you. Let me steal my Incinera spread that I use on literally every team. Someone who hasn't seen like any of my videos before right now is seething at the fact that I'm just stealing spreads from other teams. But like people have watched the channel for a while like, yep, that's you know, that's how we know it's Marcos that's making a video. <laughs> It's just a team that he knows, or it's it's a spread that he knows, so he's just going to recycle it as many times as possible. Uh, but yeah, all right. Man, I almost want to like move the Sash somewhere else, strictly so I could like Life Orb my Sand Slash, but I already have the Life Orb on you, so probably not that good of an option. All right, I'm trying to think like defensively, what are we missing? So two Steel Resistances... Um, we don't really struggle versus Kyogre much, in my opinion, since we have Obama Snow now. Man, I almost want to like assault this this Obama Snow, but I know that wouldn't be a great idea. I, like Eveltal doesn't seem like that big of an issue because like Sand Slash. What if I go White Herb Sand Slash? Maybe I do go White Herb, and that lets me toss the Sash somewhere else. I'm trying to think, like, what do we not have an answer for? at this very moment. Regieleki for one. We could use a ground type. A ground type is actually very much appreciated here. I think our own Landorus wouldn't be a bad idea because Landorus Palkia does pretty decent into a few things. Yeah, you know, let's, let's go White Herb Landorus. White Herb Landorus, uh, Jolly, just standard stuff. We're going to Sword Stance on him. Let's go with uh, Rock Slide, Earthquake, Fly, Swords Dance. Is that a good idea though? Who knows? Got Protect on you. You're going to lose Protect for Trick Room for obvious reasons. Uh, protect on you, protect on you. Okay, I, I feel comfortable. Like, I always have to double check that I actually have protects on my team because otherwise I'm like, I don't know. I feel like I get carried by protect in a way. I think this will do okay for low ladder because that's that's our goal here, right? We just want to do okay on the low ladder. All right, let's see if we can make hail work. I, I really doubt it. I think we're going to get like one win today, but it, it's this is more or less to prove a point. Um, Why can't I spell right? Why, why am I keep missing? Why, why do I keep missing this? Hail no. There we go. Hail no. All right, let's see. I could have used an electric type, truth be told. Okay, yeah, this is probably one of the best reasons to not use hail. Uh, sun will annihilate you if you just kind of let it exist. As far as my game plan here, Charizard looks like a huge issue. Do I want to put a rock move on you? Do you get rock moves? Should I put rock slide on you over sword stance? He gets rock tomb. Rock tomb might be better than rock slide, but rock slide is a more powerful max move. Okay. I get the feeling this is going to be a game where we have to sack. <laughs> we have to sack our Obama snow immediately in order to get trick room up. So we're going to lead off Palkia. And Incineroar, we're going to bring the Obama Snow and probably the Calyrex. Okay, I think we can get a Trick Room off. Possibly, perhaps even. Are they going to follow me? It's, it's possible, but also like if they go into Groudon, we don't tank anything. I don't actually know if I eat a Helping Handed Hit. It's like equivalent. These things are equivalent damage.
Hmm. All right. Um. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. Please, just. Oh, I mean, he's not gonna switch. He has special defense boost. He's just gonna stay in and helping hand. Maybe we can get this off, but I, I seriously doubt it. Oh, he follow me. Okay. Um. You know, that's why we're playing on low ladder. This is the reason we're playing on low ladder. I think we win by virtue of the fact that we're about to get our veil off. And... Whew, do we get our veil off, though? That's the issue. Maybe I just double out. I think I'm going to double out. Because they shouldn't let me. No, they were just going to let me. They were straight up just going to let me. Okay. Let's just parting shot again. We're gonna get the we're gonna get the veil up this turn. There's there's no way they don't bring in Groudon in a sec here. There's another parting shot. I'm gonna go. I actually go Calyrex. I go Calyrex because if they bring in Groudon, then my hail would go up second. They also haven't wildfired yet. I'm just gonna rock fall again. I get my weakness policy. Okay, I don't hate this. I don't hate this. Because I think I pick up just two KOs if I go Obama Snow where the Palkia is, and then like Glacial Lance. Alright, how many turns of Trick Room? There's two turns left of Trick Room. Alright, let's just Glacial Lance. I died to the Wildfire anyways, so I just have to attack both here. And Palkia seems to be my key to winning. Alright, he protects that. Are you going to protect the Charizard? Yep, makes sense. Uh, let me get my Palkia in here. Let's get my Veil off. Aurora Veil. Um, Charizard's in range of like Life Orb Spatial Rend, I'm sure. I'm actually not sure. But I don't want Groudon to come in and like make me deal no damage. I'm honestly surprised they haven't revealed Groudon yet. I almost think they don't have it. I almost think they just don't have it. Yep, yeah, there it is. Okay. Uh, is there a way I win this? I seriously doubt it. I think we just call the game there. Yeah, I can't win that. And I'll be real with you guys. It mostly comes down to like... The fact that we even made it that far probably just comes down to the fact that my opponent made like a really questionable play the second turn of the game, pretty much. But that did that did inform me that we should probably have a rock move on the team. But the rock move, when you Dynamax, is is useless because it's going to get rid of your hail, which makes Sand Slash actively worse, unless you're like Trick Rooming on the same turn. Okay. Okay, alright. I mean, it's Kali Reshiram... We can probably just... They want Trick Room, too. We can probably just lead off, like... Obama Snow here, honestly. It's pretty decent into, like, a possible Mimikyu. Or even, like, Amoongus. It, it does okay here, is my point. It does okay. And I, I can probably get Veil off, since they don't have any competing weather. Um, definitely want you and you and you. Okay, I'm going to say that that's pretty much free Veil. Unless they just Flare Blitz my Obama Snow. In which case, no, we don't get Veil off, and then we lose. They have to fake out one of these guys, right? Uh, Let's go and Sin here. And just get damage. Let's just get damage. Let's just Glacial Lance, because I think they just want to target Obama Snow. Yep, they taunt me, they flare blitz. I'm gonna get weakness policy, but it doesn't really matter here. Actually, I mean, I can prevent TR. Mimikyu probably goes down to this, but he's eject button incinerar, which is interesting. Okay, there's the Kali. I'm probably faster than the Kali. 
I can't parting shot anymore because I got taunted. Um, but I think I do better under Trick Room than him now, honestly, which is the frustrating part because I, I kind of want Trick Room to go up, but I also don't want to be the guy who has to set it up. So I think here it's in my best interest just to assume Cali switches out again. I'm going to go for the horsepower. All right, go Incineroar on your Cali. All right, he's just going to go for the policy. Okay, uh, I probably lose there. Like, I could have Dynamaxed, and I would have been fine. I considered the Dynamax briefly. You know you know you're down bad when you're freaking Dynamaxing an in Incineroar. Because I'm going to outspeed his Cali unless he's not zero speed IV. yeah all of a sudden um all of a sudden our, our dude our uh <laughs> all right we got rid of that thing we're also getting rid of the mimic you wait are we about to win i was gonna say all of a sudden our obama snow is looking more and more valuable which is just concerning that's just concerning at this point all right there's reshiram there's incineroar um how can i win this i have to max strike the reshiram here interestingly enough to get the speed advantage with an Obama Snow, possibly in like a turn or two. I guess I could have gotten rid of the Incineroar. Why would you fake out the Dynamax? Okay, uh, is this possible? Probably not, but I, I, I mean, we have to try anyways. I think I literally just max strike the uh, this guy here. He has to be like zero speed on this thing, so at minus two. If he's 85, I'm going to be faster than him if he's absolute zero speed. I'm going to I'm going to go for the strike on the Incineroar and I'm going to have to try to win with my Calyrex. He quakes. Okay. If we actually won this, I'm going to lose my dang mind. It's definitely not policy because the policy was on the Calyrex. Uh let's go for a snarl here for damage. I have to high horsepower. Please be zero speed. Please be zero speed. I need this right now. I need this right now. My Incineroar is definitely faster here. Snarl. Zero speed IV? He's not zero speed IV. Okay. Can I even win this? Probably not. Alright, yeah. GG. Shame. I am giving an honest effort to win these games, by the way, guys. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not just like, all right, this guy doesn't even have a second restricted, so there's we can't lose this. But also we're running hail. But also he has, he has a big hail weakness. Honestly, if Trick Room goes up, we just win with Calyrex. That's just how it works here. So we're going to lead off... Um, I think I want to lead off Palkia, actually, because that's the... Is that the hardest thing for him to stop our Trick Room with? Maybe here... He has no Intimidate Pokemon. He actually, it's the Urshifu Dark that's concerning me because Urshifu Dark could just like one shot our Calyrex. Um, and if we end up leading off like Incineroar Calyrex versus like Zarina, we don't get Trick Room off. But I think we literally just win if Trick Room goes off. So let's let's go with this. I think this is our best way of getting Trick Room off. We definitely bring Obama Snow for Blizzard spam and we'll bring Palkia. Okay, so it's Urshifu Kiram. I'm fairly certain we can just fake out Trick Room here. We should take a dragon move from, from Kiram, I think, because we're literally Calyrex, and Calyrex is like busted as far as bulk goes. Okay, cool. As long as he's not like Specs Fusion Flare, we get the Trick Room off and we're like set. Okay, yeah, no. All right, we win. Uh, I parting shot the Kiram here because it doesn't matter on Urshifu uh, and I go for the Glacial Lance and I'm about to do an Obama Snow Sweep and it's the only Obama Snow Sweep you guys are ever going to see in this entire format. This is going to be the only time Obama Snow has swept anything in the history of Pokemon. Hell, actually I'm kind of... I think I might just freaking double the Urshifu. Why not? Because Glacial Lance won't do it but a double might. I don't understand the Zarina switch but... 
There we go. We doubled. All right, and we forfeit. Cool. We got a win. That's our first win on this account. Maybe we can break even. Right now, what is it? We're 2-1. Let's go 2-2. Two, two. And if, if we win this one, we'll, go, we'll try to go 2-3. Uh, as far as options that we have here, once again, we're facing a single restricted team for some reason. But, you know, Reggie, 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 like he kind of counts as a second if we're being real. If we're being real. Uh, this is going to be one of the games where Landris is actually fairly useful. On lead, Landris is actually very, very good. We're going to go Landris Palkia. Calyrex in the back, and we'll bring a Bomb of Snow because we haven't used him very much. It's Balloon Regieleki, which is fairly concerning. Uh, however, however, we should be able to just like max Airstream and Earth Power this Incineroar. If he fakes out the Lando, we're like good. No, that's fine. This goes for the Electroweb. We're fine. We're getting our speed boost. Uh, he has a Lando in the back that could possibly intimidate us, so I am just going to double this thing. Max Airstream plus Spatial Rend will do it. Basically, I just need plus two on my Palkia, and I'm like, fine. He misses, which is fine. Cool. I think we win. There's his Lando. There's he didn't even bring the Zacian to a hail team. All right, um, dude, we're gonna win with Obama Snow, and it's gonna be hilarious. We're gonna purposely go for the Obama Snow win. Let me airstream you, and I'm gonna try to trick room. I really just need Obama Snow to do something, so we can go in the thumbnail. All right, let's see if we get the trick room off of Palkia. All right, Sash, that's good. Trick Room went off. All right, who is he more likely to go for here? I would say the Palkia. He rockfalled the opposing Lando, though. Oh, he rockfalled our Lando. Okay, you know what? Let's just let's just Swords Dance here. You know, we're just gonna double switch. Cali Obama Snow. Just target the target the Lando again. All right, let's go. We did it, guys. We did it. Let me go Landorus here. Let me Blizzard. There's no way he lives this, right? There's no way he lived it. He lived it. Yo, Obama Snow sucks. Obama Snow kind of sucks. Anyways, he should be within like Giga Drain range, right? Let's go. Obama Snow broken. Definitely. Definitely broken. <laughs> Dude, I'm sorry for anyone who thought Hale was going to be good this format. Like, I, I just have to... Cr Why are we only facing single restricteds on the bottom of the ladder? Do they not know the rules? Do they not know the rules? All right. Well, right now we're two and two. Like, there's no way that they're, like, facing double restricted teams and it's not just clicking, right? Like, they're just... They have to consciously be doing this. Okay. Uh, this is a rain team. Luckily, Obama Snow's, like, good into that. Question mark. Uh, let's go ahead and lead off with Palkia, Incineroar. We're gonna go Obama Snow and Cali. Okay, yeah, no, that's that's free trick room. Unless he's also fake out. But I'm pretty sure I calc to this Palkia to take like neutral play rough. You know what's sad is like Obama Snow used to be good in restricted formats because it beat Kyogre and Groudon, but that was like Gen 4. That was like the only time it could do it. All right, goes for the light screen. Uh, fine by me. Let's just Earth Power Flare Blitz. Because I think regardless of what comes in, it doesn't like it. Unless it's like specifically the Pelipper that comes in here, we're fine. Do you eat this? He doesn't. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, whatever comes in, we're going to parting shot it and then get in the Obama Snow. And we're going to get our Aurora Veil off because we have yet to do that. Okay, good. It's Pelipper. Cool. Hydro Pump. Parting shot. We're getting in the Obama Snow and we are clicking our Veil for the first time in history. Spirit Break, that's fine. 
Don't you dare you turn. All right, Scald, don't burn me. Cool, we did it. We're getting Veil off. We're going Calyrex. We're getting our Veil off because they can't do anything about it. Toxicroak? All right, cool. Cool, I think we win. I think we win, dude. Uh, let's go for the Hailstorm on you. Let's go for the Blizzard, even though we're probably just going to, you know. Actually, let's, let's go for the Hailstorm on you, and we'll just go Incineroar here. After this, I am going to get one more game, because I'm genuinely concerned that the only wins we've gotten so far have been versus single restricteds. I just want to make sure I didn't like time travel. Back to like series 9 or whatever format we played. Series 8. Yeah, that was it. Alright, there's Pelipper. Uh, it definitely eats this, but it's not going to like it. Cool. He knuckles me. I should eat that. I'm going to parting shot and just hailstorm again. Be, could you, like, max darkness my Calyrex, please? That'd be cool. Alright, Knuckle, that's fine. As he tailwinds for some reason, we still got... How many turns of Trick Room? We still got, uh... Oh no, Trick Room ended. When did that happen? I'm just dumb. I'm just dumb, I don't know how I missed that. I also just watched it go first. Uh, hail teams are just melting my brain at the moment. I'm sorry, guys. The concept of running this is just melting my brain. All right. Uh, yeah, there's no way we lose if we just hailstorm you and go right back into Incin. We just cycle Incin versus Toxicroak. All right, he lives that. Grimmsnarl should go down here. And Sin lives. And that should be game. They don't really have an option for this. Just parting shot again. Actually, I can just fake out. GG. All right. Let's do one more. One more. So we can say we went positive with a hail team on the bottom of the ladder. What is this? Why? All right, you know what? You know what? No, I'm not playing that. They didn't even have six Pokemon. They had one restricted like that was somehow worse <laughs> i was like there's no way it's gonna go and then there there just give me like a like a normal team so i can say okay cool a regular a a regular team a regular team guys we did it we found it okay uh obviously we're gonna lose this matchup because of obvious reasons um i can lead off with Yo, Loki, the Obama Snow lead isn't even bad. It actually might guarantee me a Trick Room if they don't go Zacian, because I think they might want to go Kyogre on lead. I think I go Palkia, Center or Obama Snow. We have yet to use Sand Slash effectively. We've used everything on this team but Sand Slash, and I go Kali. And um, I have to hope it's not Safety Goggles. I have to hope it's not Safety Goggles, because if it's not Safety Goggles, we just win by getting Hail Up. Versus, like, Shedinja. If they're not safety goggles, though, if they are Sash, they're probably just going to leave the Shedinja in the back and probably, you know, lock. I'm going to say they're going to go, like, Zacian, Incineroar, Kartana, Kyogre. Like, that. that's what I would bring here. Wait, is this a bot? Please tell me I'm not facing, like, an actual bot. Okay. Uh, opposing Incineroar's Intimidate went second. I believe I can guarantee a Trick Room here. I forgot if I actually live this. Let's go for it. I could also just eliminate Zacian entirely. Let's just go for the KO on Zacian. The KO on Zacian is actually like the most important step to winning here. Max Quake should one shot. All right, I think I KO Zacian as long as they don't crit here. All right, cool. Be gone. Oh, it lived, okay. Uh, that's not anything that we can't fix by doing this. Check this out. Obama Snow is about to carry this whole game. Oh, come on. 
<laughs> Come on, man. I thought I was slick. I thought I was literally the slickest man alive. Pretty sure that's a loss then. Uh, uh, I might be able to like Giga Drain Max Quake. I could even Veil up here. No, I can't because there's no. What am I saying? All right, I KO the Zation, and I get a special defense boost there. Not that it matters, but maybe I can tank a Flare Blitz, possibly. Also, my dog's going crazy in the background. Sorry, guys. Okay. In Sin Protect. All day. Or I could even... I'm gonna get faked out anyways. I don't want him to get like a KO on my Palkia though. It's just in Sin Protect. I need to be able to Parting Shot this Kartana. If I want to get Trick Room off. Don't knuckle me. He probably knuckled me, yeah. Okay. The likelihood of winning has gone down significantly. <laughs> uh, that's, that's definitely just a loss. That's definitely just a loss, like, regardless of what I do. Also, I meant to parting shot that Kartana. Why did I parting shot the Ensign? This is my only hope. I have to crit. Oh, I don't take this. GG. GG. Okay. <laughs> so I think I've I've made my point. After after build after making like a genuine effort to build a hail team. And, and use it on, on the lowest point of the ladder. We still struggled to even get two wins, and those were versus, like, teams that were essentially free. Um, th in summary, the issue with Hale is the fact that Hale itself requires so much maintenance. You have to keep Hale up for Hale Pokemon to do well. Um, there's so many weather setters in the format that uh, it's impossible to, like, get up your Aurora Veil. I don't think we even did it once in this video. Uh max moves themselves can block aurora veil entirely and the pokemon that are like hail abusers like obama snow and sand slash do nothing for the format and the fact that we struggled on low ladder when i can bring like this reggie drago team or this tapu bulu team to high ladder and do like good in a video or even like buzzwall like the fact that like me someone who like tries their hardest to use like really bad pokemon for decent teams that i couldn't do anything with hail I'm gonna be honest, I think that says a lot about Hale. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I thought this would be a fun little video to try out. I'm definitely gonna title it, Here's Why You Shouldn't Use Hale, or something like that. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.